some of the strategies for uh, successful rooftop integration, but for the most part, uh, we're just really going to dig into the market, some of the technologies. We've got uh, you know some experts here that we want to kind of get into the weeds. We really can on the technology side of it. Something interesting to point out in 2010 as compared to 1997. These are renewable portfolio standards, and I think it's just a it's a nice picture to show us just how much it's really catching on from a legislative perspective. I think it's also somewhat interesting, uh, some of these blank spots uh, here. It seems like, you know, Florida is actually a big market, but they don't have any sort of state program that requires <coughs> renewable energy. And then renewable portfolio standards, uh, California is probably a great example where they're, they've been kind of on the leading edge, really. They want 30%, I think that, that occurs by 2015, so I don't know if you recently heard uh, Berkshire Hathaway spent about $5 billion in solar, and that was to kind of get ahead of this. So capacity by year, <laughs> I just cut it off at uh, 2009, it, and after 2009 actually it's probably the most interesting part because it gets a little bit silly. In 2010, manufacturers, there's also, uh, the market is really strong, so it's kind of a, an interesting. <laughs> So global market demand, um, I think probably the most important thing to point out here is Germany and Italy. Germany by far has the most uh, the most installed capacity, which is really funny, I think, for anyone that's ever been to Germany, because they don't have a whole lot of sun. So it again shows you that right now what really powers the, the decision is political climate more so than the economics of it because you would you think you would think that there would be other places that would make a lot more sense and would at least have more solar. But Georgia uh, Germany has that feed in tariff uh, that makes it really attractive. So if and if you've ever flown in there it's it's amazing. Every every flat surface has got some sort of solar technology on it. Uh, United States market demand California, again, largely driven by this renewable portfolio standard and the fact that uh, energy there is really expensive. New Jersey is, a, is another example uh, where it, it just costs so much per kilowatt hour that, uh, that the projects pencil a little bit better. Colorado, interestingly enough, is, is actually, the power is relatively cheap, but uh, it's a fantastic market for solar. Lots of sunshine and, and it tends to be pretty cold. scale, we, we really we can kind of use any technology we like. There, you know, other factors that would go into that. But if, if you get, there's a premium, so for instance, an elementary school might be a good example that if you had the budget to put in a, a bigger system, you probably would want to go with a monocrystalline because you might not have a great deal of space. Whereas if you're talking about a distribution center, we kind of do whatever we like. Uh, there's a lot of manufacturer uh, manufacturers out there, it's actually, the, the shows are really a lot of fun to go to these shows because the product is so similar that in order to differentiate themselves, it's mostly marketing, you know, so they have these huge booths, hire models to go around and try to get you to come to their booths and have video games, and it's a lot of fun. And there's usually about 70 of them, and every year about 30% of them turn over, so. <laughs> The good, the good part is a consumer for us is it means, again, the tons of margin compression, tons of competition. You, you can go back to these suppliers over and over again and go, okay, we'll take another five cents a month. Okay, fine, we'll take three cents a month. So they're all very hungry. Uh, disadvantages, though, they are temperature dependent. So, for instance, in, uh, states like you know Southern Nevada and Arizona, you, you don't actually see a lot of PD. You see a lot more solar water heat because as they get hot, they start to, I mean, just kind of like any electronic component, right? It's, a, it's like a toaster of it. So the, that panel gets hot, those wires get uh, more resistance, less power. Uh, so 